Uh, Steve Joyce, President and CEO of Choice Hotels International. Thanks for joining us here at the Lodging Conference. Thanks for being here, Jeff. Um, both are leading off from you know a single simple fact about this company that we need to take advantage of, and that is because we're so large, almost 500,000 rooms, we generate an enormous demand for urban product. Because of the other brands we've got, we don't have a lot of urban hotels in dense suburban product. And Cambry and Ascend are helping us fill that in a really nice way. Cambry has been a tough brand because of financing over the last two or three years, but this year it finally caught. And so we announced a couple of hotels in New York, one in White Plains, one in Washington, one in Miami, and the list continues. We announced three more today. Uh, we've got three more to come. We've got five or six under construction, probably another three to four come in the next six months or so. So it feels like that's finally coming. That's really due to the financing markets improving. Now we've always also said we'd love to have a full service brand. The, as we think that would fill out the portfolio really nicely. You know, you've seen the financing levels move up um, pretty significantly. Some form, some of the four to fifty percent levels up into the sixty, sixty-five, even seventy in some cases. The terms were pretty onerous a year and a half ago. Pretty much hundred percent guarantee throughout. Now you're seeing completion guarantees, but a partial guarantee with some burn off. So you're starting to see some loans out there that are encouraging people to get back in the market. And we're seeing a nice increase in new build hotels sort of across our new build brands, uh, but particularly in Cambria. And we think that's going to continue to build. Uh, it'll be very good for that brand as well as we're seeing new build activity in Comfort Suite for the first time in two or three years. And that's very encouraging. The, the benefits you get from a brand are a lot around costs because we bring a lower cost system to them. You're going to play lower GDS fees, you're going to play lower OTA fees in a big way. But then the bigger thing is the revenue we can bring. We can drive 55, 60% of your revenue through our central channels, which are your most cost efficient. Those costs then will be delivered and, and, and yielded at that bottom line without giving up all the things that an independent wants, which is they don't want a brand telling them what carpet to pick. They don't want to tell them what service model they should be running. As long as our folks are doing a good job meeting customer needs, we are happy to let them choose whatever curtains and pillows they want. And as a result, our consumer is getting a great opportunity to see a uniquely historic or boutique or regional product in a setting that gives them a different experience than they would normally get. Three things came into play. One is tax rates on dividends are never going to be lower. Two is the rates on high yield markets are never going to be lower. And three, they're never going to come with no, the, the, the lack of restrictions they've got today. So we were able to, to take advantage of those scenarios, do a very heavy dividend, 35, 40%, 10, 50 on a $37 stock. The market reacted very positively. Our shareholders are very happy. And the market, while it was a $600 million payout, the market gave us 300 million of that back. So all in all, it worked out to be a pretty good transaction. We've been looking at it for a number of years, looking for the right set of circumstances. And we got that one mostly right.